Hallelujah. So nataka tuandamana wote pamoja. And these are issues that all of us go through. Hakuna mtu ambaye apitii mambo ya mental. Si kila mtu uishie madhare ama odiate. Lakini mental issues kila mtu nakumbatana nazo. It's an everyday issue. Amen. The difference kuna wale ambao wako na nguvu kidogo ya kujikamatia mahali isifike mahali fulani. Na hata wale wako psychiatric wards ikiwa mapata mafundisho mapema and this preparation and this awareness watapata ile stamina ya kustahimili na kujizuia kabla kufika viongo vingine. Amen. Ukiangalia katika Biblia men of faith underwent mental disturbances. Uh, David in Psalms 42 verse number 5 Amelia na kusema kama why are you cast down O my soul? Ndugu amesikumbia kidogo kuhusu depression. And why are you disquieted within me? Ilifika Daudi ilifika mahali roho haitaki chochote na haitaki kuongea na mtu na roho imefunga najua roho ikifunga mdomo pia inafunga na mpaka Daudi akasema roho ero yangu kwa nini umenyamasa kwa nini umekata uhusiano na wengine na dunia na, na hali ya dunia why are you cast down all my soul inamaanisha alifika mahali mambo aliyokuwa uh, ambazo alikuwa anakumbatana nazo ilimusonga na akawezwa na kwa muda ambapo bila yeye sema ni muda gani akajikuta kwamba the spirit is shut down and the, and, the, and the heart is completely disquieted ile hautaki kuongea na mtu hautaki kusema chochote appetite inapotea fellowship and relationship inapotea lakini baada ya Daudi alipojiangalia ajo ai hii nimetupa mbao na akasema kwamba akajihubiria akasema e nafsi yangu kwa nini umenyamasa kwa nini umetulia kimya hivyo that sound for the first five kumaanisha kwamba hata Daudi katika wakati wake alipitia maneno kiangalia gani katika first samuel chapter number 21 first 10 Then David arose and fled that day from before Saul and he went to Ashish the king of Gath and the servants of Ashish said to him is this not David the king of the land did they not sing of him to one another in dance saying Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands now David took this words to their heart and was very much afraid of Ashish the king of Gath so he changed his behavior before them pretended madness in their hands scratched on the doors of the gate and let his saliva fall down on his beard then i should say to his servants look you see the man is insane why have you brought him to me have i in need of madmen that you have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence shall this fellow come into my house ufalme anatembea paka mate inafuata ndefu kwa sababu hapa anapigana na Saul. Na Saul amefukosa katika taifa la Israeli. Na Saul anataka kumwangamisha. Na ametafuta mali ya kujificha. Na alipoenda kwa Filisti pale pia wale pia wakamfukosa. Ukisoma the previous chapter. Na hapa akakimbilia kwa Ashish. Na akasema kwamba at least niende ni ni nijifiche pale kwa, kwa ule muda lakini mawaso na maneno na shida ya roho yake ilikuwa imemsonga mpaka ameana kama ana goragora milango za watu na kuongea ile lugha ya ya maneno simu sisi kama madaktari kama ningekuwa wakati ule tungeshika Daudi tupeleke ward 8 kwa sababu mali ilifika kisha ile trip na akasema hii maisha haina faida tena afadhali jifanye mimi ni mjinga angalau wasiniue angalau niishi angalau niwane siku yake kesho kusongwa na mawaso haleluya ukiangalia watumishi wa Mungu wote wamepitia katika ishi ya mental health kuna wakati mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Samson 
baada ya kufinywa na ule mama anaitwa Delaila na macho amepoteza macho I can imagine the state he was in mpaka akaamua kwa sababu yote yameisha wacha tukufe nao wa Filisti Kwenye Biblia only gives us glimpses but we've got to under revelation to dig deeper to understand the full story John said ikiwa tutaandika maneno yetu katika Biblia hakutakuwa na maana kuweka hiyo mafitabu So by the revelation of the spirit of God you get to understand in between what happened Na Maria anasema kwamba Samson alifika mahali utukufu wa Mungu nimeupoteza The anointing was gone maraka mama alimnyoa Macho yameenda Na macho yake yake na macho ta vision imeenda Na akasema what else am I left with Na akasema hawa mimi ni mmoja tu suicide and i'll speak about suicide later as a consequence of as a, as a result of mental mental health issues haleluya na akasema kwamba haifai kuishi naenda kutapatapa akasema tu ni kuisha tu mahali na hivyo hivyo ndiye alifanya na akasema hii nini akaambia hii ni pila ya ya hii nyumba na hiyo hiyo ndiye alitumia haleluya na alikufa pamoja na nani mental illness yani i've lost all nini nyingine inabaki wakati wa post election violence watu wangapi walijua kusongwa na mawaso mpaka unaona afadhali kufa kuliko kuishi nataka tu i'm just building a foundation of mental health issues. Hai jansa na wewe. Hai jansa na sisi. Ili kuweko katika maumbile. Adam baada ya the fall. Mungu akamuuliza je umefanya akamwambia haki sio mimi ni huyu mwanamke. Ili mahapa hapo kabla nani asema ni yule mwanamke. Mawaso ya Adam na Mungu ilikuwa namna gani? Kama ungekuwa wakati huo upike Adam picha na usuni ambaye alikuwa nao kuhusu mama ambaye amefanya mbele ya Mungu na the fact that he has lost shamba la Eden na Mungu tayari alikuwa ameweka malaika pale kwa na kizu kizu mrefu kama kutoka hapa mpaka na Ifasha ambaye alikuwa anaenda hivyo ongezo karibia ile shamba tena the feeling of having lost it tukifika binguni ulisa Adam wakati ule ulikuwa nasikia how are you feeling after all baba yetu Amen. Lasima alikuwa na ugua ndani ya roho. Kabla kusema kwamba baada kusema haki baba nimekosa. Alisema sio mimi ni wewe Mungu. Kwa sababu wewe unileta nani? Haleluya. Abraham vilevile. In Genesis 21 verse 9 hapo. Maandiko yanasema kwamba baada ya mateso ya utasa Unajua utasa iko na kilio. Utasa iko na kilio. Fadhali upotesa mali lakini angalau una watoto. Na Abraham baada ya kuhangaika na mahangaiko ya utasa Mungu akampa mtoto. Kupitia ma, um, uh, msichana anaitwa nani? Hagar. Na baadaye unajua Mungu anakujenga tu baadaye na baadaye sera Mungu akamtembelea na akapata nini mtoto siku moja sara ameamka tuangie mama wa mkana na kisirani tuangie mama ya mental health issues kuna wakati mama anatembelea tu anaamka na mental health issues na akaona vijana wawili wanacheza kule nje halafu akaona kijana ya huyu msichana waje kuna watu vile kuna watu wanajuanga tu kukejele watu na sura pastor ana anajuanga kuyana sura ana anajua kuimtaji hizi masura sote yani mtoto amemwangalia na kama amekunja macho na yeye namna gani sara aliposikia akasema wewe haki ya Mungu wewe unijui unijua wewe unijua 
Ujawai ni jua Tuko kwa hii boma lakini Kuna mwenye nini? Boma Ni mwenye masa hii ya yote Lakini Utajua kwa mwenye Na kambia Na Na sara likuwa mwerefu Ni na, na shukuru mungu wa mama mwerefu Haku endea Hagar Ali muende nani? Akambia mse Na shukuru haku muhita Abraham Ali muhita baba nani? Mwina wananga Mwke wangu wakati lesuka meamuka na, na mental health issues Ananiita jina Hallelujah Siku ya sara Sijui wengine huwa mna Oh, hakuna wanaume hapa Tukifanga mkutana wanaume Tutaule sana hiyo waneno Wakati mama meamuka na mental health issues Huwa na kuhita jina gani Hallelujah Wele rafikia mtu kwenye kwa nyumba hile suga miamuka na mental health issues Ananita na kupe Na ananita kwa jina yangu yote tatu Na Sara Akaita Abraham Akamuita Abraham Leo Tutajua nani na Nani nani kwa hii boma Na sitaki Dialog Hii ni moja tu Mlangu Mlangu Kama aje pita mlangu, mimi diya na pita mlangu. Ayo no, oh, mama ifu na rasa manga. Uye si poenda, wacha mi diende. Si ni ukweli. Na, ma, ba ite mama mefika hapo, mental health issues mefika wapi? Si ni mwenye mnasa manga. Hallelujah. You can imagine the distress in the heart of Abraham that moment. Distress. Hapa bilia ya sema komba, and the matter was very distressing to Abraham. Again, you have a glimpse of the Bible. You get your own day, you know, no. La sima suku katha, hako lala. Kabla, kabla aitie, Jehovah msaidie, nifanya nini hapa. Kabla anza kujila umwe, nikisina nikani lilishika, nikani katafta yu akas, kana. Kama hata nge wanja mwa kengine katha, Kumbe tu munga lukame ni idea baraka fulani. Sasa hapa unasa kuhene memory lane. Kama siku hile nge jizuhia. Hii ya inge toke, inge toke lesea. Na unasa kuji ukumu. Na unasa kuji ulisa mosweli mengi. Na sayo wakata ulisa hiyo mosweli. Iko dada pale hanyamasi. Na hateendelea. Na hateendelea. Ana kwa mwacha kulala muka. Leo hii. Leo hii nyumba. Eda ni huyu. Ama ni mimi. Na Abraham, anangalia mtoto masikio ni yake. Unangalia Ishmael, puwa, posa imotoka kabisa. Halafu na shindua. For heaven's sake, how? Mtoto yangu, hini, flesh of my flesh, nita mtupa na mla gani? Kile bibiria jesema ni akoma, Abraham, hako lala siku ngapi? Hallelujah. So mtoto ambano kurole ayipu Katikati ya kijiji Ati mama Ami amuka na mento hali isu Kwa mia nini? Ati manani mawili Eh So you can imagine The mental Distress that Abraham went through Nataka ni ulisi ya hivi Wanasamanga the shortest fast in the Bible Nisama nini? Ukiona mwana wa mungu alilia Ili nifika hapa Haleluya Na wakatu alilia Kama binadamu Sio kama yesu mwana wa mungu Alilia kama yesu mwana wa maria Na kuna wakati mwana wa kufika pale Hata mwana wa mungu Unapigia mpigia machosi Wakatu 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 Jesus Kwa Kabla yifike ya mahali Alie vufua na saro Katika nigani ngumu Kufumilia hile alikuwa na fumilia Ama kufua na saro Jile ambali vufua na saro Madhuri na sama kopa lilia Hallelujah Ima sama mental health is a state of mental well-being That enables people To cope with the stresses of life Underline the word Stresses of 
and to realize their abilities, learn well, and work well, and contribute to their community. That's WHO. Amen? Amen. It's, it's a state of mental, mental well-being that enables people to cope, cope with the stresses of life. So in general, mental health issue is about coping with the stress of life. Hallelujah. The ability to cope with the stresses of natural stress stresses. Hallelujah. It is about how we think. For Katie Demo also in the Kusonga Tata Kufikiri and Kutia Kabla Samson and Amu Ya Komba Fadali Ni Kufi Fadala Kuhishi It is better I commit suicide The thought process is more easy affected So it is about how we think How we feel And how we behave Katika dunia One out of eight people Are suffering from mental, mental health issues in this country, in Kenya, how do these issues present? How do these issues present? One, common ones, I just mentioned a few. Depression. I feel the brothers dealt so much on that. Two, substance abuse. Substance abuse. Manifestation of mental illness, illness. substance abuse, ingredient stress and anxiety disorder. Do go into the details, or I just tell uh, lately, uh, you do to stress and anxiety disorder. Ile masumbuko tu angaika au lali au na petai kona. Uh, Roy, you know, you know, uh, stress and anxiety disorder. Now, what is the substance abuse? Uh, uh, stress and anxiety disorder. Suicide. Okay? Suicide. Another manifestation of uh, mental health in Kenya, homicides. Yani mtu kuwa mungine. Bibi kuwa mtoto. Bibi kuwa mse, mse kuwa mama. Homicides. Violence, be it domestic violence, uh, violence kwa, msa, kwa mama na mtoto, violence kwa nana nani, general domestic violence. This is how it manifests. And then broadly conflicts. Kuna wakati kabla flani na sumbuko na mawaso, especially kama wataka kushinde elections, baka na fikiria tukipike hii kabla, tuondoa hao riftifali, nita win nini? What to build a community dialogue or national dialogue about election, about the role of each and every community and respect for one another, value for human beings in Afikia Apa. Hallelujah. And then generally, people who are predisposed, who are predisposed to mental health issues, one, the poor. Maskini Saidi on a they are more predisposed to mental health issues to people who are experiencing violence, be it domestic violence, be it whatever. Any form of violence predisposes people to commit suicide. Disability. Amen. Mushia pata ushuri ya mama ya mama mama wasasi ambao na chunga mtoto ambaye ni akana disability. They will tell you they are going through a lot. Amen? They're going through a lot. Na kama kuna watu ambao natakana tuwafikia na tuwa support ni watu ambao kuna edha mtoto ama spouse ama relative ambako na disability. Another predisposing factor in equality. Wala watu ambao amenyanyasa na serikali. Ama system tu imewanyanyasa. Amen? Now, I was very interested in a, a particular component of mental health. So, I go to the church. Hallelujah, my pastor. Muko. What do you think about pastors? Are they also in this category? Do they also have issues? One article in a Sema Komba, Mamba Mawili, in a Sumama Pastor Saidi. 
What do you think? Hii maana na mawili ni gani? Maana na mawili tu ambaye inaweza fanya mchungaji aende a slide into mental health uh, sphere. Moja relationship yake na spouse. Very important eh. Si hiyo tunakubali. Kwa sababu hiyo hata hudumu. Even the moral authority hautakuwa naye. Na hapo pia shetani atakusungumishia vile pastor anasema kama mtu alimuita Mrs. Kamau. Hapo ni shetani pia atakuita vizuri sana. Unafanya nini hapa? Na hali kwako hata Biblia inasema kama kwako ni hivyo. Amen. Ya pili. Ya pili. Hata angetuambia ni fee ya kanisa kuporomoka. Hii mambo mengine yote anaweza kosa pesa anaweza fumilia. God shall provide. It will come. He will make a way. Lakini kitu ma pastor inawasumbua saidi kanisa kuporomoka na marriage. Marriage pia kuporomoka. Now advised to question Inasema kwamba this enables us to go through challenges of life and to bounce back. Inasema AQ allows people to go through seasons and bounce back without breaking down. AQ determines who shall break in a moment of adversity and who shall survive. Amen. Who shall abandon his mission or family or calling and who will not? In a short, in a summary, it is the ability to prevail. Ability to prevail. At the first question, na sahi wana sama kila mahali, what you have found here, mambo ya, at the first question, because things will always come. There will always be moment of disappointment. There will always be moments of setbacks. There will always be moments of delays. And if you are not prepared, to handle it, you will slip down into depression or whatever, you know, uh, anxiety and so forth and so forth. Levels of adversity question. One, kuna the level of society. Kama sahi Kenya, anjo kuna, kuna kiangazi. Na hii kiangazi meadhiri biyashara sana. Hii ni na hitiwa social adversity. In affecting everybody. Hai di affect mutu binafsi, it's affecting what? Everybody. Hii na hitiwa societal adversity. Two, workplace adversity. Workplace. Yuko watu mwiko mta nasaka miaka 25 bila hata promotion. Sinukweli. Walimu mwiko. In Kenya, this is very, very, very common. Ukisikia watu wa mebebe matawi. Wakisema haki yetu. Kabla wafiki hapa walika china kwa wangea wako wana haisaidiki. Na kawaidi watasema komba if this is the language, the language the government understands, so be it. Workplace, adversity. Frustration at workplace. Maybe you have a bad boss. There are lack of incentives, like lack of promotion. Inafanya mtu kusungwa na mawaso. Baka mtu anawana kama avadhali ni resign ya nifanya nini? Biashara. Workplace, adversity. Lack of recognition. Kuna watu wanatumwa kuenda kufanya kasi fulani ama research fulani ngambu. Lekini mkuba na chagua so and so, we unabagi tu pale pale. Lack of recognition. Poor working conditions. Amen? Working long hours. Mpaka mtu anachoka, unapata ili naitua nini? Burnout. Nepotism. Ayo yote naitua workplace. And you will always experience them. Now another level, the last level, ni individual adversity. Is societal na workplace when they come together, they affect who? An individual. Now we individual, e issue at a pelaka wapi? Kwake. Amen. Kazabu na songwa, una jukuta u medibeba villa u live office, mpaka kwa nyumba. Ukifi wa kanyumba. Fila unaambia mtoto pigia magoti, nataka kwa ambia mse wako pigia magoti. Ikiwa masongo na mawaso, 
mpaka ile kujielewa vizuri na kugawanya territories. Hii ni territory ya familia, hii ni territory ya shule. Wewe kwa sababu umesongwa sana ile limit ya kujielewa imekuwa broken down. Na kwa hivyo ukifika nyumbani kiti ya kwanza nani ajafagia hapa? Eh eh e, e, jina nani amefanya nini? Ino vile tu nafanya shule. Mtanisemea kwa sababu najua the closest examiner anatumia ni ya nani? Ni ya mambo ya shule. Amen. Outcome of these adversities. Maana na matatu. Kuna wana wanaitwa quitters. Umesongwa, umesongwa ikafika mwisho kasema ah liwe liwalo. Kwani nini? Hata kule kuna maisha. Wacha ikae. Amen. They give up. They have no control over the situation. They, are, they have less enthusiasm. They ignore responsibility and so forth. Routine kama ni kufanya kazi, kazi ya kutimisa. Mtu ashafika mahali amefinyika, anasema, si unataka niwe hapa? Eh, nitakuja. Si unataka tu niende darasa atafundisha, lakini like excitement to go beyond hakuna. Amen. Kuna kategori nyingine ambayo inaitwa campus to camp. Campus. Campus ni wana sababu ke sawa hali sio mbaya lakini nitafumilia nitaendelea maybe this will work out somehow lakini i will not quit good enough control of the situation they try to analyze or understand the problem they have the will to try again a little bit enthusiastic to overcome the situation so wako na kania kidogo kwamba i do i will not surrender na kaka kidogo ya kusonga mbele these are called campus the that good kwenye kwa haraka kategori ya mwisho anaitwa climbers climbers they have great control of the situation amen they study the problem well and they try to understand it they have influence on others and situations they influence people to follow them and their opinions and their ideas they have a feeling to surpass the limit. Climbers. Yani climbing a situation. Climbing over a, a situation. Amen. Another example in this in Africa. Kuna mtu anaitwa anaitwa Mandela. Mandela alipewa all sorts of enticement. Alikuwa enticed. Aliamua kitu achana naye tutakupatia hii kuja uwe minister na wengi wale walikuwa na yeye walitoka na wakaenda wakapewa ile wengine wanaambia kuja nitakupatia nyumba kuja nitakupatia kuwa mkubwa ya kitu fulani maneno alisema of my dead body mpaka south africa wewe nini independent climbers na alika miaka 27 na alifumilia yote by the time alitoka nguvu yote ilikuwa imeisha haleluya so kuna watu wanaekwa katika hiyo adversity lakini they are able to overcome and they are able to turn the situation to their benefit. Hallelujah. So, as I close up, finally, are these issues with us? As I said before, you will always experience some disappointment. Na kama utak disappointment, ongoja lesu kutayenda binguni. As long as tuko katika hii mwili there will be disappointment. What am I saying? Prepare for adversity. Don't deny it. It will happen. Kama iko tendeka na wewe itatendeka na mtoto yako. What you do? Prepare. If you are prepared, you will overcome it. If you are not prepared, utatafuta dawa ya panya. Hallelujah. To prepare, ni kujaribu kukaa karibu na nani? Na mungu lakini pia kukaa karibu na nani? Musa yako. Usipuatia hiyo nafasi. Prepare. Because somehow things will happen. You must prepare for adversity. You must set your mind ready. When it comes, and that's the will of God, to enlighten you, so when it comes, you can jump over. 
Because you don't prepare for it. When it comes, you sink. And then you are gone. Hallelujah. Speak up. Hapo ile ile nini ya ma pastors lize ma kamba for zito for ten percent how nobody wants for ten percent kwa kanisa hata kuonge. I mama ukiye kama mama ro ro kila mali utaishia na kamba kuna mamba mataka common sense to solve. You don't need kusumbua mungu na anointing na upako kufunja nira kama ile elijah. Hallelujah. Na na nilikuwa nimesahau kuambia Elijah. Nabi Elijah baada ya Mlima Carmel alifanya nini? Aliambia Mungu akiwa Mungu imetosha. Wacha niku na akatamka na mdomo yake mwenyewe. Ye mwenyewe kwa mdomo yake aliangamiza manabii ya Baali. Baada ya muda kidogo Jezebel akasikia na akamwambia kama utaishi kesho utakuja kuniuliza. Na alikuwa anajua Jezebel was a very powerful woman in the land then. Na kaja kama ni Jezebel amesema hivi yeye imeisha. Na akasema Jehova ushie Mungu milele. Ninajua wewe ni Mungu naweza yote. Na kwa lakini kwa hii mali imefika it is enough. Actually imeandika hivi it is enough. Wacha ni kufye kama wale manabii wa Baali. Sasa kama Elija alifanya hivyo sisi ndio tuta tuta kimwanamke tu. Amen. If you don't prepare for this adversity, it will find you unprepared. And what will happen? You will sink. Tuambie, wachungaji wangapi mlianza na huduma? Wangapi saa hii ni history? Wangapi alirudi kufanya biashara? Peter akasema, hii kasi ah ah, afadhali rudi kwa sama kwa samaki. Watu akisongwa na mawaso kabisa na, na kuwa overwhelmed and they are not able to, to overcome anymore. Wanaamua afadhali sa samaki na jua agombanishi watu. Aa. Wanademo ta kugombanisha. Ah na ungine na kuangalia na kuchongoa na fanya nini? Lakini samaki ni wati they don't speak back to you. Unarusha tu kaneti yako leo ukipata usipopata pia unarudi ke? kesho. Hallelujah. Ya pili financially safe save something because it will, it will definitely happen fanya nini safe weka pesa kidogo ya hiyo siku weka pesa kidogo ya hiyo siku kwa hii inch kwa hii inch kwa nini tunasumbuana na mambo ya masishi na matanga why can't you prepare for it somebody will always die lakini culturally imetuf culture imetufunga hivi hautuwezi amini kwamba ati mtu fulani ati babaka atakufa ama nani ama nani tukubali tusikubali it will happen so andika will sema kwa nini unaachia watu stress wanahangaika mpaka wanaenda kotini kwa sababu tu msee kimila imruhusu kuandika nini lakini ujue utaachia watu stress wewe umepumzika lakini tutajua watu nini? So let's encourage one another. Hata wasazi wetu. Bwana asifue. Uh, speak up. Hii mali nitaachia tu hapa hapa ya kwamba prepare for adversity because things will always happen. Mungu awabariki sana. <tune>